One of the reasons I'm so interested in hearing from all of you is that I now am sitting um, in, on the Senate's Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions Committee. Uh, so one of the things we are charged with uh, is education policy nationwide. We want to give states flexibility, but we also want to make sure that everybody has the opportunity to engage in best practices in, in schools. Um, and we're also getting ready uh, to do what's called reauthorize the Higher Education Act, which is trying to make sure uh, that our higher education system is ready to help you guys learn what you need to do to be leaders in the 21st century. So um, this is really helpful to me. Tell me a little bit, if you can, how the PACE process feels different or doesn't feel different from uh, the way you used to show your learning or competencies before. So there's, there's different components of it that make you think in different ways, and I think it, you retain the information better when you're doing the project style assessment than a regular like bubble test like you said. Made you, I feel like they made you use what you learned in a more realistic fashion. You know, in a bubble test or anything like that, you're sort of just repeating what the teacher says, but in a PACE task, um, it's more like a, a real life situation. Like I You're learning how to go about solving problems using the resources that you have and not just drawing upon, you know, facts that you've memorized and studied. Um, so I think it's just, it's helped with problem solving in general, which is a really good life skill to have. And I feel really prepared for college next year because of that. So. I think what's also important about the PACE assessments is how it truly teaches us to collaborate with others around us. Because yeah. like, with some of the bubble tests, it's a very just independent thing, and then we forget every question that we're asked at the very end. But with pace assessment, it's it's very much a group effort. It's a group dynamic of how can we figure these things out together as a group. And like, I think that the biggest thing is being allowed to fail. Yeah. I feel like I have failed equally as many times as I have succeeded here, and I think that that is which like is great and I think that that is something that a lot of I mean like my mom's a teacher and she even talks about at her school it's all about like hi all the time all the time you have to get it right and I think that like I even see it with my senior project like I just it's okay to mess up and fail and for it to not work and it's still fine and it's so much more about the process than the actual experience with failure and recovering from it is a really important life skill with kind of the way education is nowadays, you have the test taking and the project based things yeah. and PACE falls more along the lines of being project based. Right. And I've noticed with my peers, classmates, friends, that when you have a certain format that, you know, multiple choice or more of your standard test per se, I can see a lack of motivation in some students. They're not very engaged right. or interested for that matter. The more ownership you take of your education and the decisions you make, uh, the better citizens you're going to be, and that's really what this whole country was designed for, right? Yeah. Taking ownership for yourself and moving forward and solving problems together. I appreciate you all very much.